ti së me teje, ti së me teje sute. For one who indulges in sexual intercourse, said the Venerable ti së me teje, tell me, dear sir, of the distress. Having heard your teaching, we will train in seclusion. When one indulges in sexual intercourse, Metheya, the Blessed One said, even the teaching itself is forgotten and he practices wrongly. This is ignoble in him. One who previously lived alone but then resorts to sexual intercourse is like a vehicle that has gone astray. In the world, they call him a low worldling. Whatever fame and acclaim he previously enjoyed, these fall away from him. Having seen this, one should train to abandon sexual intercourse. Oppressed by his thoughts, he broods like a poor wretch. Having heard the reprimand of others, one such as this is humiliated. Then he prepares weapons of defense. When reproached by the words of others, this is a great thicket for him that he sinks into false speech. He was known as a wise man when resolved on living alone. But when he engaged in sexual intercourse, like a dullard, he is afflicted. Having known this danger, here in the before and after, a Muni should resolutely live alone. He should not resort to sexual intercourse. One should train just in seclusion. This is supreme among the noble ones. One should not conceive oneself best because of this. Then one is indeed close to Nibbana. When the Muni lives void, indifferent to sensual pleasures, people tied to sensual pleasures envy him as one who has crossed the flood. <laughs>